Coming up on today's episode, we're going to show you how to create custom drum kits for the new version of Beatmaker on iPhone. Sponsored by YouNoob.net, the Newbie Network. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Akin. Alright, so today we're going to take a close look at the new features of Beatmaker and find out how to create custom drum kits with Beatpack. So in the new update, Intuit really focused on improving their accessibility, navigation, complex sequencing, and the ability to export MIDI. Also, they added some bonus stuff like new filters, and audio recording. So first, let's take a look at the upgrades to the new sequencer. With the introduction to the new preview bar, it makes it easy to scrub through long patterns. Also, we can now zoom in and out of the sequencer, and we can add and remove bars to the timeline. Next, there's the dynamic access bar, which lets us quickly jump between different settings. Drum patterns can now be up to 4 bars long, and the step resolution can now be edited up to 1 and 64T. And finally, as a bonus, they added pitch and pan editors to the step editors tab. Next, we got a whole new pad editing screen for easy access to settings. An improved wave editor with cropping and zooming function. And a new cross controller with full screen mode for live effects. Next up we got audio recording. That's right, everybody asked for it and now we finally got it. You can now record directly from the iPhone's built-in mic or headset. Now let's take a look at the new MOG filter. It features a low, high, and a bandpass frequency with resonance supports. Also, there's an improvement to the delay effect featuring dotted and triplet rhythm support. And last but not least, you can finally export your beats in MIDI format. So you can expect all this and more in the new version of Beatmaker. Next up, I'm going to show you how to use Beatpack to create your own custom kit. Alright, so first we'll need to download Beatpack from their website. When you open up the app, the first thing you'll see is the Share Kits and Samples section. If you read the instructions first, you'll get a head start on how to sync your audio files from your desktop to your iPhone. But first, I'm going to jump right over to the Create Kit section. So the drag zone is where we'll be loading our samples. Simply drag an audio file to the desired pad to load it. This is where our creativity comes into play. I like to arrange my samples in groups, so when I play it live, I can play it with ease. So when your kit is ready, you can fill out the information section and even upload a kit icon. To save it, just click the generate button. Next, go to the share kit section and follow the instructions to get your kit onto your iPhone. So here's a quick rundown. Go to Beatmaker, in the home section, click on the beat pack icon, then click on add server. Next, type in your computer's address. You can find it in the share kit section in the beat pack app on your desktop. When your IP shows up in the server list, simply click on it and hit the download button. Then navigate to your file and hit the download button. When it's done, close it and load it as a kit. Alright, so let's test it out. Alright, that sounds pretty good. And that's pretty much how you make a custom kit using Beatpack. And remember, you can upload your tunes back over to your desktop by using the upload function. And as a plus, we're going to go ahead and upload this beat and this drum pack over to our website so you can go download at pixel.info. That's pretty much all the time we got for today, so we'll see you next time.